so this is Eliza and welcome back to a new reading vlog. So I did film a reading vlog for the last like week and a bit but I was filming it on my phone and for some reason I cannot transfer any videos from my phone to my laptop at the moment via airdrop which is what I usually use. Yeah I don't know why no videos are going even like the little 15 second ones just of me like opening my books and stuff like that like I used to do. They won't even transfer and they're only 15 seconds. They will literally just sit there and say that they're transferring but then not actually do anything. So I'm not sure if that reading vlog will get up. Depends on if I can fix that situation. But for the moment I'm going to be filming on my DSLR camera which means there might not be as many updates just because I don't always have it with me when I think hey I want to do an update and I couldn't be bothered like getting out of bed or whatever whereas usually I just you know grab my phone and start vlogging. Bear with that but I just wanted to do a little bit of a reading update. I will talk about what books I read in the start of the month uh, when I do my wrap up because I couldn't be bothered recapping everything that happened during the TBR Jar readathon which was the readathon I was vlogging so you'll just have to wait for that because I couldn't be bothered but as of right now it is June 16th and it is day 16 of the house cupathon I am participating in that one but I am currently reading Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff this one I'm reading for the hyped book challenge I can't remember what the name of that challenge is but it's something to do with a hyped book so I'm reading that one I'm currently on page 62 of this one so making decent progress really enjoying it really curious to see where this is going to go next I'm also currently listening to Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix. It is for one of the challenges for the House cup -a I don't remember what it is right now. It's for one of the challenges. So I'm listening to that one on audiobook. I'm also listening and reading along with Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Yes, I know, same authors. But um, me and my partner are listening to this one while reading along with the book. I'm trying to get him into reading. You know. So we are only this far in. We've only read 15 minutes or about 20 minutes worth yesterday and then we'll just continue on you know whenever we feel like doing that. I have however received a book in the mail since my end of the last readathon. I did film one clip for this reading vlog but then I realized my phone wasn't working I wasn't able to transfer so I'm starting it again. So in that clip I hauled the book thief, uh, not the book thief, wrong book, the Bone Thief by Brianna Shields. This is the second book to The Bone Charmer, which I read last year and absolutely loved it. So I was literally sitting on Instagram or Facebook and I saw this cover come up, completely forgot it was being released very soon. So I went and ordered it literally straight away. So it has finally arrived. I'm so keen to get to this. Like I said, I really enjoyed The Bone Charmer. So I'm assuming this one is going to be just as good. And how gorgeous is this cover like? The first book was stunning as well. This is just beautiful. So as for other updates, I have been spraying some books. I'll put a close up of this one because I don't know if it's going to show up on camera as what it actually looks like in person um, or in like proper photos. So I will put a photo up of this one, but I have sprayed Serpent and Dove and I've sprayed it black with gold glitter, which you'll, there you go, you can kind of see it. They're reflecting in the light, but like I said, I will put a photo up. I absolutely love how this turned out. It just looks so good. The black and the gold just goes so well together. I'm really happy with that one. And I also did Tiger Queen by Annie, Amy Sullivan. Annie, no, Annie Sullivan, not Amy. And I sprayed this one with the gold glitter. I'll pop a photo up as this one as well. This With this lighting, the camera just can't capture the glitters very well. But I am so happy with both those and how they turned out. The next book I want to do is Red Hood, which is over on my TBR shelf, but I want to purchase the red of the glitter sprays that I have been using. I'm curious to see what it'll look like, and I'm going to do a tester and see if that's going to match with that book, and hopefully spray it that colour. If not, it might do like a red with a gold over it or something. I'm not sure. We'll decide later. But anyways, that is it for now. I will update you guys a bit later. Hopefully I'll be able to um, film some little shots like I usually do to put it in and fill in between me talking. Hopefully, but it'll just depend on when I have my camera with me. But yeah, right now I'm going to go sit down and read for a couple hours and get some more of this one read. Hey guys, so it is now Saturday. It's been a couple days. I can't remember what day I started this reading vlog, but I haven't filmed anything since starting it. But I went to uh, my partner's on 
Thursday, came home Friday, yesterday, and I forgot my camera. I had it sitting on the table, ready to go, forgot to pick it up. So, and then yesterday after I got home, I basically got home and was like five minutes later over at my neighbor's place helping put a fence up. So, didn't get a chance to do anything yesterday, did not even read yesterday because I'm kind of slightly gotten back into Sims 4 which like it won't last I know that it's one of those games where like I can play for like a couple weeks and then I get sick of it and don't play it for another three months same as like RuneScape now but I am playing Sims 4 so that was what I was doing yesterday instead of reading I was listening to my audiobook though I did finish Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and then I started Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I don't remember when I last updated you guys, but I started Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and I finished that about half an hour ago. So I have been listening to audiobooks while I'm playing Sims, but I have been playing Sims instead of physically reading. But I did get a little bit red while I was at my partner's place and also a little bit more red this afternoon. So I'm now on page 238. So what are we, halfway? We're halfway. So I'm going to try and get a bit more red tonight before I go to bed. And then tomorrow I don't have anything planned besides maybe going for a walk in the afternoon with my mate. But that is about it. So tomorrow will be dedicated to reading. I'm going to attempt to finish Aurora Burning and I'm not allowed to touch Sims until I do. <laughs> so unless I'm, you know, on the phone with my partner or something and I can't physically read. That will be the goal for tomorrow. Fingers crossed I'll be able to do that. I've also hurt my wrist again, so there's that. You may have seen this in previous reading vlogs every now and then. I do something to my wrist. It's hurting again. So, yeah, and it didn't help this morning. Uh, we were loading cars onto trailers, so did not help. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, that is my update at the moment. I have a box of books sitting at the post office. I was meant to go to the post office when I came into town yesterday, but I completely forgot and then came home and then it was after five. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot that. So yes, there is a box of books from QBD. So you'll probably see that on Monday when I go up to the post office. I'm also hoping my new MacBook will be here Monday, which I don't think I mentioned, but I'm buying a new MacBook because this one's, there's nothing wrong with it. It still works great. It just, I'm just worried that something is going to happen to it. And I won't have you know, a backup or anything like that because I run my entire business off this bitch. So if I don't have a laptop, I'm kind of screwed and I don't have any other laptop or anything like that. And this is, this is a 2013, it would be. Yeah, I got it in 2013. So uh, it's what, seven years old? So it's getting a little bit old, but she still runs great. So I'm going to, yeah, I've ordered a new MacBook. It should be here before Tuesday, according to Apple's delivery um, estimate. And then I'm going to sell my old girl. But yeah, so that might be exciting. A little update you guys see as well. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and actually get to reading. And I'll talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow. And then I'm going to my partner's place on Tuesday. So hopefully I remember to take my camera. Fingers crossed. <laughs>Sunday morning, actually is it morning? It's just morning, it's 11.45. Um, I have been reading for most of the morning since I got up, so I've been making decent progress on Aurora Burning. I am this far through now. I'm on page 390 and I'm up to part four of the book, which I'm pretty sure is the last part. Um, we have, how many pages is this all together? 4.95, so I have 100 pages left to go, so I'll definitely be able to finish this one today. So I'm super keen to finish this one. I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. It's really interesting, really unpredictable, really action-packed. So I'm really enjoying it, but I'm just stopping to have some lunch and I'm just having some leftovers from last night and then I'm going to get back into reading. But I thought I would update you guys because I have done a decent amount of reading today. So yeah, I'm just going to continue reading until I finish Aurora Burning and then I'll probably maybe write my review for it. I also want to set up my July bullet journal spread. I don't know if I want to do that today or tomorrow, but sometime in the next two days I will be doing that as well. So I have a couple things I want to do. 
and I also want to play Sims, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that until I finish my book. So, we'll see how I go, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to try and finish Aurora Burning first and then do a couple other things that I want to do. So right now I'm going to go have lunch and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is now Sunday night. If you can hear clinking in the background, my dog's eating dinner and her chain is hitting the um, dish. But I have finished Aurora Burning. I finished it this afternoon. This ends on a massive freaking cliffhanger. Like, I mean massive cliffhanger. You don't even know who the fuck is alive at the end of this book. Like, it's insane. But... I can't wait for the next one. I'm assuming that's not going to be out to like, what, May next year or something? When did this come out? I think it was May. But it'll be a while. So I got a while to wait. So after I finished this, which was around about like six, seven o'clock or something like that, dinner time, I played some more Sims because I felt like playing Sims. And then I sat down and did my July bullet journal spreads, which you would have seen I have a little bit of a flip through of. I haven't been recording my bullet journal spreads um, just because I haven't really felt in the mood to do it. So once I feel in the mood again, I will get back into those maybe. But for the moment, I'm just going to be doing them as normal. And as much as I love these journals from Archer and Olive, the fact that they are fabric really annoys me because you can see how dirty these are getting around the edges where it touches things. It's gross, but I can't get it off. Like I've tried scratching it off and a little bit comes off, but it's just dirty. So I'm not a fan of that. I wish they made these with like plastic cover. That would be ideal. But anyway, so yeah, I have finished Aurora Burning and I started Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince today. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I don't think I did, but I have started it and I'm a decent chunk of the way through it because I was reading it while a little while this afternoon while I was busy doing stuff. And then most of tonight while I've been playing Sims and doing my bullet journal, I was listening to that except for about half an hour I was talking to my partner. But yeah, so I'm a fair chunk into that one already. I'm aiming to finish both It and Deathly Hallows before the end of the month, which I should be able to do pretty easily. I should have Half-Blood Prince, blah, 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 should have Half-Blood Prince finished in the next day or so. So I should have enough time to finish Deathly Hallows. So right now I'm gonna head to bed. Tomorrow, mum will be coming up. We've got some orders to pack up for the business. And we also need to do a stock take and a couple other little things to do with the business and I've got to go up to the pool and do the maintenance. So I probably won't get a ton of reading done. I don't usually on a Monday. And then Tuesday I'll be heading to my partner's place to visit him for a couple days because he's working and can't come out here. So I'm not sure. I think I'll end this reading vlog tomorrow and start a new one on Tuesday. And hopefully remember to take my camera with me this time because I didn't last time. Fingers crossed, we'll figure it out. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna head to bed and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow sometime, probably to finish out the reading vlog if I didn't get any reading done. So I do have a graphic novel on my TBR, which is The Illustrated Hobbit. So I might pick that up tomorrow and get that finished just to tick one more book off my TBR, but it'll just depend on how much time I have. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna head to bed and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Monday night. I have a box here that I need to open and also need to talk about what books I'm about to start reading. So we're going to start with a box. Um, I was just randomly on QBD and I saw these books and they seemed pretty cheap. So I was like, okay. And I had a look at the price compared to Angus and Robinson and Book Depository and they were actually cheaper at QBD because they were on special. So I decided to get them from there. I don't usually shop from QBD just because usually it's more expensive then um, Angus and Robinson, which is where I generally buy my books from, or Book Depository. This is full of packing peanuts, so these are going to be everywhere. So you'll probably get an idea of what this is as soon as I held up the first book, because this is the entire set, and it is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the 20th anniversary editions. Obviously, this is the hardcover Ravenclaw edition. So I'll just quickly have a look at the front cover on the one of them. They're usually pretty similar, just with like a few little details changed. So we have a, I'm assuming Phoenix in the center. Um, we have a dragon up on here at the top. And then we have someone, is that Hermione? I don't know, there's someone holding a wand up that looks like it's doing Lumos right in the bottom corner here. So that's what the Order of the Phoenix one looks like. There is also 
um, a raven, I'm assuming that is, on, yep, that's the raven on there for the Ravenclaw edition. These do have the sprayed edges that kind of look like the scarf. They are naked underneath. Um, inside, we just have the portrait of Rowena Ravenclaw, which in each one will be the different head of house. Um, some information about Ravenclaw and the map of Hogwarts. Is there anything else interesting in the back? Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got um, information about a teacher in the back. So we've got Sybil Trelawney is in the Ravenclaw one. I'm assuming there's a different teacher in the back of each of the books. So we'll have a look as I pull them out. I won't talk about them too much in detail, like individually, but let's just attempt to get them out of here. Okay, so next we have the paperback for Hufflepuff and it's just got the yellow sprayed edges. Now, is there a different teacher in the back of the Hufflepuff one? Yes, there is. In the back of the Hufflepuff book, we have Justin Finch Fletchley. So everything else is the same as the Ravenclaw one, obviously, but Hufflepuff. But yes, we have Justin in the back of that one. And I'm assuming this is the rooms, like the classrooms. You can, can't see it as well on the black with the blue, but on the yellow with the black, you can really see it. This is like a kind of side view I guess of the castle so we've got like tiny little classrooms and there's like people doing stuff in the classrooms which is awesome it's also textured so you can actually feel the staircases and stuff which is cool now we have the Hufflepuff um, hardcover these are so fat I have no idea where I'm gonna fit these on my bookshelves like they are chunky um, we have the Slytherin um, paperback and who is in the back of the Slytherin ones? So we have Dolores Umbridge is in the back of, come on, focus. We have Dolores Umbridge who is in the back of the Slytherin paperbacks. Okay, we have the Ravenclaw paperback, which in this lighting looks completely purple. It is the bluey, it's kind of like a purpley toned blue, but it is blue in real life. This camera, like this lighting right now is just, nope. <laughs> Nowhere near accurate. And then we have the Gryffindor paperback. This one's cool. This is, is that the Weasley house? It is, so they're completely different. So the Gryffindor one has the Weasley house on it. And then there's like another little shack, which I'm assuming is meant to be part of like the Weasley house. And there's the Ford Anglia and there's like a little cauldron. So they are completely different. Okay, hold on a second. So this one is like a building. Is this meant to be 12 Grimmel Place. I think that the Slytherin one is meant to be 12 Grimmel Place because there's a staircase with um, house elf heads just just there. Um, yeah, there's a staircase with house elf heads on the wall, which is what the Black family does to their house elves. So this has got to be 12 Grimmel Place. And then we have the Weasley house. So this is like different locations. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything that specifically gives this away. Is this Gringotts? Because are they goblins? Or is this the Ministry of Magic? Because there is a post box, or well, a phone box, right at the top there, which is the visitor's entrance for the Ministry of Magic. So I'm assuming that's meant to be the Ministry. So we have 12 Grimmel Place, um, the Burrow, the Ort, uh, the Ministry. So then what is on the Ravenclaw one I can't reach? There's Thestrals at the top. They're not dragons. Now that I'm looking at them, they're Thestrals. I'm sorry, I'm not in focus. And I think right at the bottom there, that's a quibbler. Yeah, so I'm not 100% sure what the this one is meant to be. Like the other ones are kind of distinguishable, like the ministry one, I'm guessing. But this one, I'm not sure because we've got Thestrals, there's a crystal ball at the top. There's a person here, which I think is Luna, because um, this is Ravenclaw, so it would make sense if it was Luna. And the only other character they mention inside here is Sybil Trelawney, and it's not Trelawney. It doesn't look like it has her glasses or anything like that. So, and it's got the quibbler. But everything else is just kind of like buildings, whether it's like the Great Hall or something. I can't be sure. The other ones, I'm pretty, you know, I can tell kind of what they are, but this one, I have no idea. The Ravenclaw one is kind of stumping me. But anyways, those are the books I've got. These will probably go into or back into the box for now, just because I have 
know where are my shelves to put them. I need to do some rearranging on my Harry Potter shelves because I still haven't actually fitted the Goblet of Fire books on there yet either. So I have 16 books I need to try and fit on there and these Order of the Phoenix books are not the smallest. So that's going to be a bit of a task and a half. So these will probably go into a box until I actually have time to properly get in there and reorganize my Harry Potter shelves. As for reading, so the only two things I have left on my House Cupathon TBR are Toil and Trouble, which is an anthology. And this one I'm reading for the book I'm giving a second chance. I did, pff, there is a receipt in here. Um, I did start reading this one on audiobook. And as I did mention in my TBR, if you've seen that, the audiobook just wasn't working for this um, because this is a collection of short stories and they were using the same narrator for all the stories um, I couldn't differentiate dif you know what I mean between the t stories that I was reading I think I read the first three and they all sounded the same I was getting confused I didn't know who was in what and what was where and what was happening when I just I couldn't keep it straight because they just like the voices were exactly the same so it just felt like it was one story they're like I it might be okay if I like completely take a break like if I read one and then a couple days later read another one then I might be able to figure it out but as like just reading it it just wasn't working so I'm going to attempt to read this one um, physically and I'm going to read one story each night um, and try and get this finished by the end of the month it is currently the it's the 22nd and there's 30 days this month. So I have eight more days. So how many stories are in this? 15. So I'm gonna have to read two per day. So wish me luck. I'm gonna attempt to do that. And in between reading those stories, I'm going to be reading Odd One Out by Nick Stone. This one I am reading for the one that I'm nervous about or scared to read or something like the wording or something like that. Um, this is super short, so it shouldn't be too hard. I'm a little bit nervous going into this one just because I loved um, Dear Martin by Nick Stone. It was amazing, but I haven't heard the best reviews for this one. So I'll just see if I like it, if I like it, if I don't, I'll DNF it. That's just you know, how things work. But yes, I am keen to give it a try, but I'm also worried that I'm not going to like it. Also, if you didn't know, Dear Martin has a sequel coming out called Dear Justice, and I pre-ordered it the other day because I didn't even know it existed until I happened to see it pop up on my Goodreads. I was like, ah, yes, thank you. I'll take that. So I can't remember when exactly it's out. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen, but check it out because Dear Martin was freaking amazing. So hopefully this one will be too. That is it for now. I probably will not do another update. Um, so I'll probably end out this reading vlog here. If there's anything else I want to share, I'll put it after this clip. But for the moment, I'm going to go and sit down and read one of the stories for Toil and Trouble and then probably head to bed or maybe two of the stories for Toil and Trouble. I don't know. Might take a break in between. We'll see what I'm doing. But yes, that is all I'm going to be doing. And then I'm finishing out this reading vlog. So you probably won't get another piece of footage from it. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with another reading vlog, which will be in a week's time-ish for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm finally back into reading vlogs. And now that I have a camera that is working and not recording off my phone and not being able to airdrop to my computer, I'm working. So I'm actually doing reading vlogs and I'm actually enjoying it. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed this too and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.